Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel Fragrance Journey. Hopefully everybody's having, having a blessed day. Hopefully everybody has a blessed weekend. I've been gone for the last two weeks. Took a trip to Europe. I'm exhausted, but I got to meet a lot of nice people while fragrance shopping. Uh, one thing I wanted to say was the people in Javoy Paris store were very rude. I didn't enjoy that experience at all. Um, when I walked in, no one spoke. It wasn't really anybody in the store. No one spoke. No one asked me, did I need help finding any fragrances? Nobody offered any advice. I literally had to walk up to the counter to ask them a question about what kind of leather fragrances they had for them to even help me at all. I don't know if they didn't think I was going to spend any money or what, but I ended up spending a couple hundred dollars there, and I wish I didn't. I wish the Javoy in Mayfair in London, the people there were awesome. I got to smell so many fragrances. They didn't even want me to leave. I mean, they wanted me to stay and smell more fragrances. Shout out to Khalid in that store. He's a really nice guy. He helped me out a lot. I got his contact information. He's a really great guy. Uh, Javoy in uh, Paris was just a total dud. They have a really nice store, but the people that work there, they are not nice at all. And if someone from Javoy hears this, I just want them to know the people in Paris at that store are not really that great. The fragrance I'm going to be talking about today is one that I got from Bloom in Covent Garden in London. That store is awesome. They have a saleswoman in there named Olga. She basically let me smell. They've got like 400 fragrances there. She basically went through maybe half of them. And she wanted to keep going, but I had to go. I actually went to that store twice and made two purchases. This was the first purchase that I made from the store. And this is from a house that I don't have any fragrances from. And she let me smell pretty much the whole line. She actually let me smell the whole line of uh, Zoology. I smelled, smelled the whole line of that. I like the bat fragrance a lot. That's one that I may get. I know a lot of people don't like that one, but I actually like it. Um, but this is from the house of Olafactor Studio, and this is called Shipro Shot. And I never had an experience with a Shipro fragrance. I guess that is. And I guess that is a French word that actually means cypress, which I think is, I wrote it down. It's going to be made up of like woody notes, mossy notes, sandalwood, patchouli. It can be floral or fruity. This is the bottom. Shipro. Sheep, Chypra, Sheepra shot. Man, I smelled this one. She let me just smell. I smelled so many fragrances that day. Me and my wife were there. And she kind of got nose blind after a while. But I just kept going and going and going. But this one, I already sprayed some on my hand. Let me look up and see what the notes on this one. But this was one of the ones when I first smelled it. I was like, man, I got to have this one. Uh, it's cardamom, saffron, and bergamot are the top notes. Uh, the hard notes are peony, black pepper, coffee, black tea. And the base notes are oak moss, patchouli, labdanum, and amber. This one is sweet. You definitely get some of that cardamom. You definitely get some of the bergamot on the top. But I get the sweetness from the amber and the labdanum. And it once it dries down to me, it becomes more woody. The performance on this is great. This is one that just blew me away when I first when I first sprayed it on my hand. Of all the scents that I sprayed on, this one just I couldn't stop. I, I, mean, I couldn't stop talking about it. I kept smelling my hand and smelling my hand. And it performed great. I mean, the the one that I sprayed on my hand in the store was on there for at least eight to ten hours. Yeah, it's just sweet, woody. You get that amber in the background, cardamom, saffron, bergamot. Overall, this is just a wonderful fragrance. I haven't seen a review on YouTube for this one, and I like that because I like to be the first to review fragrances. This one was released in 2018. I also got to smell Leather Shot, which was another banger that I really liked that I might get, but I picked up another leather fragrance from a house that I don't have anything from either. Um, but overall, this is a really nice fragrance. If you like sweet, woody, uh, I don't get much of the coffee or the black tea. But I definitely get the woody notes. I definitely get the patchouli, the amber, the labdanum, and that bergamot on the top with that citrus. They all just blend well together. 
But this is just my first review coming back. I'm going to try to put a video together of some of the uh, video I got from inside the stores. Uh, but I'm, I'm totally exhausted. I got back like 11.30 last night. And, man, that was the longest. I had like five flights getting back last night. So, other than that, shout out to all the subscribers. Shout out to the winner of the giveaway. I'll be trying to ship your uh, fragrance out tomorrow. I sh and I think that's about it. But if you woke up today, you're definitely winning. Shout out to all the new subs. We're over 700. We're gunning for 1,000. And other than that, I'm out. Peace.